Uh, how many of you here like horror movies make some noise? Okay, like 12 brave people, thank you. <laughs> but Conjuring 2, specifically this movie, right? On the opening day, there was a viral Facebook post that was going around. It's basically a picture of a notice that was released by a cinema company overseas, right? And this notice said, during our early screenings, some of our viewers were emotionally disturbed. Due to that, we have placed Father Perez <laughs> outside of the cinema after the show so that some of y'all can get some blessings. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the main ghost of Conjuring 2 is a holy nun! <laughs> Why are you placing a holy father outside of the cinema can you imagine that you're in the cinema for two hours? You're traumatized over a holy nun. Your body is shaking, your mind is trembling, your legs are shivering. After two hours, you walk out of the cinema like you're a Parkinson's patient. And then you look to the right, in the dark, you see a holy father and you're like, oh, her boss! Yeah, I watch a lot of horror movies and I realize horror movies they have a certain uh, template like a formula, right? Like the first the first thing, right? I always notice, do you realize the haunted houses are always at least a double story house? <laughs> because you need the staircase scene. A horror movie without a staircase scene is like a fast and furious movie without a scene where Vin Diesel says, one last try. <laughs> I got fast ten and all. We need the science contract fast ten, but one last try. <laughs> second, second common thing, right? Do you realize most of the houses are made out of wood? Yes. If you can afford a landed property that is double story, can you at least convert to cement? Now? Half of your horror noises are coming from there. You understand, bro? And if you are that rich, I'm very sure you can invest in a can of WD-40. <laughs> Spray all the hinges in your house. Because that's where the remaining horror noises are coming from. Mordo, I tell you, sometimes this western world I appreciate, but sometimes... Mm. <laughs> that similarity, right? These houses are all fully furnished. Yeah, you got you got furniture, fence, lights. That's for the ground floor, first floor. But what do they furnish the basement with? A single bulb. Not even a light. A bulb. Does the bulb have a wall switch like every other light in the house? No. What he has to say is a string. Where's the string beside the bulb? Where's the bulb and string in the middle of the basement? Hey, look, isn't it a bit ironic for you to use a torchlight in order to on another light? Hey, after this competition, when you enter your houses, do you use a torchlight? No, because why proper planning? That's why. <laughs> Now, fourth similarity, right? Most of the time, there's always a lake beside the house. <laughs> but here's the thing, it's not one of your, like, Tioman water. You know? <laughs> Can you tell me what is the color of the lake? Uh, what color? It's always gray. black. Gray. And it's not normal black, it's like solid pitch black, you know? In fact, the lake is so black, the American police are blindly shooting at it. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad that you're laugh because you know that I'm making fun of the police and not black people. Because the, I did it once and some crowd went, oh, I said, can you be a bit more intelligent? I said, blind me, you idiot. I'm making fun of the police, so you all are good crowd. Good job, ah. Wow, good ah, good ah. Educated crowd, thank you. But here's the thing, right? If your house is beside a lake, 
you realize there's never any neighbors. It's all forest, right? Yeah. And despite not having any neighbors, what does the house owner do? <coughs> randomly walks up to the lake and randomly stares into the lake for hours to ask for trouble. <laughs> Good luck. Go and read a book la, somewhere, right? And then he sees something moving. What does he do? He looks closer. <laughs> What is that? Huh? Let me try to write a thesis out of this. What is this? Man? And then he realizes it's a dead body. What does he do? He looks even closer. Who is this relative? Is this the same auntie I've been trying to kill? And then this dead body comes up and touches him. Then only he runs back. What an idiot, right? It'll be really awkward if the dead body just comes out and say, One last try.